Good morning traders. Uh, this is the 11th of July and I'm going to give you a really brief rundown of today's morning trade and how true to form this market and markets in general will sometimes play out with more significance to some of these key locations that I keep emphasizing and in many of my videos that I've provided for you guys over the last four or five months. So I'll just take a quick, a quick look at this. And these markets all open up this morning higher. Uh, the NASDAQ kind of hovered around its MAs, but here's what was really interesting was th they they stayed up here. And this was a huge, huge area. 58 was a big deal in the ES. Uh, 15, 220, 210, somewhere in this ballpark was a big deal. And, and obviously 34.3 and you could just see this just take a look at this here is your Dow chart it spiked up there in this morning okay and then they rolled that was a heads up there but that's the Dow uh, the ES and and I'm waiting for this I sit here and I wait for this stuff and I'm I, I missed it. It, it, it I turned for a second to take a look and they were ready down to 54. That was about your only entry. I ran on with something at 56. I never got it. Or better yet, it's more over here. My apologies. That's the wrong. It got up here. 54 would have been your entry right there to get short. You know, there's nothing you can do. Like, That's how I trade. I don't chase. Um, you got to let it go. The belief is that another trend comes and it will come. And it was right in here. I was a little more aggressive up in here. I took this one hard at 51, but the entry here was around 49. And you had to be patient with it. You would have got it. The objective basically here is even with the gap higher is that we're going to come back down and at least fill the gap down to 43, which they did. And you can see the result. They, this is your, this is a gap, this is a, uh, settlement rally they tapped it and you can see the markets have come all the way back up to 15 what well, 50 what they'll do I don't know you know I, I got aggressive with it but I'm paying attention also to the Nasdaq and the Nasdaq once again as I spoke earlier they tapped you know their maze right in here and they rolled so every market was giving you an indication that that they were gonna sell off from those locations that's why I emphasize them this area I've been talking about, I was a little curious about it. I'm in a short around an area that I have to pay attention to, and that's 5150 NASDAQ. And you can see, and it's the pivot, and it's a big deal. You want to pay attention to this level for the rest of the day. But it, it did roll, and it confirmed this short right in here, which would have been a, a safer entry, would have been around 49. I just was aggressive. Uh, you can see, and I ran, and if you're... And here's what's more important: if you're going to run, um, if you're going to run multiple contracts from any one of your positions, you want to be smart about running a, a trailing stop on them. And usually, you're going to pay attention to these moving averages right in here. You don't want them to come running up on you. I ran my down to 45. I got punched out. That's fine. So you know what? If they roll back down, I'll take another shot at it. But that's the best way to protect yourself against anything running up on you. In fact, that turned out to be the turning point going up, but you can see they ran hard and there was no significant entry to getting back up. You can see the momentum has changed as well, but by the time everything was ready up here, there's just no chase up in here. You're not, there's not, no good opportunity to get along. You'll have to pay attention to this as the day progresses. But the point of this, in, this entire video today was to just let you know that, you know, you got to have have the game plan you want to think about the potential for what this market can do will it do it we don't know but it did it tapped 58 it tapped 15 to change it tapped 34 3 and it rolled okay we're in a bull market this market is still holding up we got big numbers coming out tomorrow I don't want to tinker with the short side any much more than I have to you know if this thing rolls again I'll pay attention to it possibility you can see overnight the es is stuck within the moving averages right now you know they nobody wanted to push this thing over the top and there's your 4437 that's a big deal that's going to be the number to pay attention to any failure of that we could probably start to roll but until then this market's holding on to it so you know what we'll see what happens tomorrow but 
Uh, this is it for today. Um, you know, I'm going to be taking this thing live probably in a couple of months just so you guys can really see how to play this. And, you know, up front, you know, I showed this to you guys over and over again. And I know you probably say, well, it's easy to show this. But there's, you know, there's a significant value in how to trade these from the location. So if you have any interest, put your email in and or send me a message. Um, I haven't had, I'm just working out the kinks on this. It's going to take a little while, but I just want to present this to you moving forward. Guys, trade with patience, trade with confidence. You know, you're getting a little push here now from the NASDAQ at 15,150. Uh, and the ES is just pushing again. I pay real close attention up in here, and that's let alone you have an MA and you have a significant level here, which is. Uh, R1, your first resistance level. I don't know what's going to happen if we get up there, but pay attention if it does. All right, guys, I don't want to leave too long of a video. Have a great day. Good luck.